Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty simple and easy tutorial. I'm going to simply be showing you how to have an alt or how to get an alt in Minecraft. Now I'm not going to be going through the entire buy process of Minecraft. I have another video which you can check at the eye at the top of your screen on how to buy Minecraft and you will need to buy a new Minecraft account in order to have an alt. So that is something that you need to be aware of and have more than one Minecraft account to run two Minecraft accounts at the same time. Now with that being said, that is if you're playing on the same server. If you're playing on two different servers, you can actually use the same account to do that, and I'll show you both ways here. But first and foremost, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. So you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for an awesome Minecraft server for you and your friends to check out, check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Now, in order to get an alt, you not only need to purchase the second account from Minecraft.net, but you also need to come here and download the Minecraft launcher. Now, it kind of goes through that in the uh, the purchase process of Minecraft, but it's not that great. So, this is linked in the description down below. It's how to download the Minecraft launcher, and it walks you through every step of doing just that, downloading the Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher is downloaded, it will look like this when you open it up, right? This is just the standard Minecraft launcher here, and in here, you should have an installations tab, and you should have a skins tab, and everything like that, and, you know, that'll all be here, but nevertheless... What you primary will have is up here in the top left. You'll have this Nix Games or whatever your username is. After you log into the Minecraft launcher with your main account up here in the top left, you'll have this. Now, if you don't have like your main account basically added and you you know are adding your first account, you'll basically see a login box similar to this. Go ahead and you know enter your information there of your main Minecraft account. Once you've done that though, we can add an alt. And to do that, you want to click on your username in the top left of the Minecraft launcher. Click on View Accounts here, and then you want to click the plus Add Account button. Then you want to enter in the email of the account you're, you know, basically adding to your Minecraft launcher, your alt. Paste in the password there, right like so, and then just click log in. And then boom, it appears here, right like so. Now at this point, you can go ahead and basically get your alts working. To do this, come back over to Minecraft here. Select the version that you want to play your alts on. We'll just do 1.13.2, just because that's the version that I personally like the most. Once we're here though, you can see at the top left we have the Nick King account. Let's go ahead and click play on that. And well, it'll start right on up Minecraft on that account. We have to wait till we get to the main menu, and then once we get to the main menu, we can launch up our other account. Again, a lot of people overcomplicate this. A lot of people say you need multiple, you know, installations of Minecraft and stuff like that. You don't as long as you're not playing single player. If you're playing single player with more than one account on the same computer, you'll need to do that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. Again, we're just going to the same Minecraft launcher right here. You search Minecraft and, you know, by clicking, clicking the Windows icon, the top left for me, bottom left for you, there's Minecraft. Should be an app. Opens this up. This time, though, we want to click up here in the top left and you should have your other account. In my case, my First account here is Nick King. My second account is Nick's Games. Click on that. It's going to log into it, and then it'll say connected. Once it does, go ahead and click play. As you can see, it's going to say a game already running. Already running in this game directory. Starting it again may cause malfunction or corruption to your saved worlds. To solve this, create a new installation in a separate game directory. You don't need to do that as long as you're not playing single player. If you're playing on a server, you can do this. If you're playing single player, you will need to install it in a separate directory. However, most likely you're playing a server. Why are you running an alt and bolt in single player? That's what I want to know. But nevertheless, in multiplayer, you can just go ahead and click start anyway if you're playing on multiplayer. Once you've done that, we can uh, go ahead and log on into the server here. So we're going to be logging in to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. That's what we're going to be using. We've got incredible Greek protected survival and medieval survival server, aquatic survival server, and an awesome skyblock server. So come play with us. 219 players online right now. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and line these up so you can kind of see them both here. And we'll go ahead and join on in. So this should be the Nick King account. So if we join on in here, we'll connect to server, right like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Wait for it. There we go. Encrypting and it'll log us right on in. So once we're into the server here, we'll be able to confirm. I'll hit tab here. And you can see in the very top of the menu bar, up there in the very top left, like right up here in this area, we'll be able to see... Boom, there it is. Nick King, as you can see there, this account is online. Now let's go ahead and click on multiplayer here, and we'll watch this account join in. Now this account actually is going to be, like, you know, hidden, because it's technically the owner account. So with that, we don't want to, uh, we're going to have to do slash V, right like so. And now if we click over, we can see the Nick's Games account there. Another example here, let me run down to where this other account is at, and we'll be able to see... Look at this. Right here is the Nick King account. Boom. And here's the Nick's Games account. See that? Boom. Very easy. Very easy to see both of those accounts there. 
we are good to go. My skin just loaded in. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. We now have both of these accounts online, working, running, all good, all fun. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's all you all kind of need to know about uh, creating an alt there and getting that alt in on the same server together. Basically just open Minecraft twice, once on each account, right like so. Now, I did mention that if you're playing on different servers, you can actually join in and, um, you know, do this a bit differently. So let's go ahead and do that. We use the Nyx Games account for that. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave the Nyx Games account logged in here on Breakdown Craft, right? And then I'm going to jump over and log in. Again, see the Nyx Games account's what we're using here. Go ahead and click play, start anyway. We said that was fine. And we're just gonna jump on, I don't know, something like Hypixel or something along those lines and uh, check that out really quick and make sure we're all good to go. So let's go ahead and load right on up. And then once we're on the Minecraft meme menu, we can play on another server and it won't affect us on Breakdown Craft. We can run around, do everything we want to on Breakdown Craft here as long as we are playing on a different server. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just go ahead and direct connect to Hypixel. There we go, we can direct connect Hypixel, mc.hypixel.net and it will join right on in. Oh, this is unknown host. What, is that correct? Oh, I put a space at the end by accident there. Yep, there we go. Boom, join server. And now it will join us right on in to Hypixel here. And as you can see, boom, there we go. We are now on both servers. As you can see, Nyx Games right up here on the tab bar there. Nyx Games is logged in. And on Hypixel here, we can go ahead and hit the tab menu. If we show up, I'm not ranked or anything. There it is, yeah. So it's kind of in this area on that second tab. You'll be able to see Nyx Games is on that tab menu, meaning we are playing on two Minecraft servers at the exact same time. It's that easy to set that up and do that. So yeah, if you basically like your brother and you want to share the same Minecraft account, that's perfectly fine. As long as you don't play on the same servers, you can both play on the same Minecraft account. Um, even single player is perfectly fine. So as you can see there, we are now on Hypixel and Breakdown Craft. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you all want to come play on Breakdown Craft, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, we have Grief Protected Survival. This is our medieval survival server. We also have an aquatic survival server. So be sure to check that out as well. We also have a Skyblock server. If we do slash server here, we can see Skyblock, Medieval, and Aquatic. Boom. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Enjoy either using your new alt or enjoy playing Minecraft on two accounts or on the same account on two separate servers. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.